Most business owners focus on traffic and they think getting traffic comes by means of great reviews and also adding keywords. But realistically, that's not always the case. So how can you get great traffic? Well, have you considered this and this? Yes, photos can also make a massive difference to the amount of views you get to your business in Google Maps and Google Business Profile. And with so much traffic, this insane traffic you think would be an obvious place to go to. Just keep adding more photos and you get more traffic. But of course, the trouble is, is though photos are incredibly powerful, they can also be quite misleading. In fact, it's been so misleading that Google's decided not to show that type of information any longer. And so now the new insights will not include any information about the traffic that comes from photos. I think most business owners recognize that photos bring in good traffic, but actually how often would people actually go out with a photographer, get some really good photos of their business, and then put them up, upload them to their website or to their business profile, and then see the real benefits. So what Google's wanting is a higher quality of photo and video and ones that are actually going to be useful and not just a case of replicating what's already out there. So in this video, I'm going to show you three areas where you can add photos and really improve the quality of your business profile to get traffic. I'm also going to show you some little tricks along the way you can do, but I'm also going to show you the power of photos and also how misleading some of the data has been up to this point and also cover some of the old age questions like, should you geotag photos? How can you change the cover photo? Is there issues with logos still? And where do you add keywords to your photos? All these will be covered in the video too. Let's take the first section really of it being misleading. Why is it you get thousands and thousands of views and yet still no one calls the business? Well, this is where Google recognizes that actually photos are misleading. The reality is, is what Google says is counted as a view on a photo isn't generally a person clicking on the business and then making an inquiry. And Joy Hawkins recently confirmed that it appears that Google isn't going to be moving this over to the new business insights. But you can still get information. You can still get that information now if you want to. You can shortcut into the old insights by going to your products and once you click on products, if you come out of that, you then get into the old dashboard that's still available for most of us. And from the old dashboard, you can go then to your old insights and there you can see how the photos were and the type of statistics that were available. But I think we all agree that makes sense. We don't want misleading information. But for the majority of this video, we're gonna concentrate on how powerful photos are and they can still be a massive way to get traffic to your business in this coming year. So at this point, let's just ask three questions to consider for the next time you upload a photo. So if you've got some photos now and you're thinking of uploading them, then ask these questions. Question number one, are your photos of the highest quality and are they inspiring to potential visitors? Maybe to ask someone to see whether that's the case. The second thing is how does your photos compare to the competition? So just look at those above you, see what they're posting. Are they being rewarded for a higher quality photo? When we speak about higher quality, it's not just about the amount of pixels involved or the quality of whether it's HD or 4K. We're talking about the actual way in which you focus on the information of that photograph. So what's actually the central focus on that photo? And finally, how does Google understand your photo? Yes, we're going to see that Google is pretty intelligent. It knows what the photo is about. It knows far more information about the photo than probably we even consider ourselves. So first of all, are your photos of the highest quality? Well, what type of quality are we talking about? And what are the guidelines from Google? Well, here you can see the various formats, the types of sizes, the recommended resolution, which isn't particularly high, but of course you want that 720 pixels you want that based on the most important part of the photo. So you may need to crop it to that. And then also the quality of the photo. It says that the photo should be in focus, well lit, have no significant alterations or excessive use of filters. In other words, the image should represent reality. So what's Google meaning by this? It just wants genuine photos. So don't take rip off photos from other companies or using say stock photos is not going to be helpful. It wants the reality of your business. So just go out with your camera. You can even use your phone itself as long as it's got a good autofocus and take photos. You know, one of the best photos you can have uploaded though is not your photos, but photos from your customers. So when you do ask for reviews, ask your customers to also take photos, particularly if it's something that's photographic that would do well on photos, 
get them to take a photo and they can upload a photo when they do a review and that's the one that's going to really bring in the traffic. Google really rewards that at this particular time. But also when you think of your photos, do they give emotion? Do they inspire? How do people feel when they see it? Often expressions on people's faces, that can make a big impact on the photo itself. And you just think if you're particularly a restaurant, then you want to take photos of the food, the meals, things that are going to make people hungry. They're then more likely to click on your restaurant or your burger bar. The second area we looked at is how do you compare your photos to the competition? Well, at the end of the day, you're trying to attract customers. So you need to think of your logo, get the cleanest version of that logo. And if you can fit it within a square, that's even better. Also, when you think about your customers, what would actually attract them to the business? What's currently working for your competition? And there are now three areas in particular that Google want you to focus on. And the first one, as you can see, is the logo itself. That's used on the profile in several places as well. And you want customers to just recognize your logo. So is it colorful? Do you have a high quality version of it too? Can you use it perhaps in other areas of your business website so that it integrates well? Then you've got your other profiles, your social profiles like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. So that should be a consistency, that logo. That should be part of building your brand consistency. Now the second area is your cover photo. It says there, set a cover photo at the top of your profile that best represents your business. In some instances, this action doesn't guarantee the cover photo will show up. You know, Google will override it if it feels that the photo isn't good enough. You never have any guarantees of control here, but generally speaking, you can manipulate it the right way. And finally, business photos. It says to add different photos to highlight features of your business to attract and inform customers. So you notice all the time Google is interested in attracting customers through the photos. And that's often the bit that people forget to think of when they upload a photo. They just do it hoping that it will work. But the third area is probably the most staggering one is the fact that Google's AI is so clever when it comes to photos. In fact, you can see here that just by adding a photo, you can get so much more information. Google's AI is so, so valuable at understanding what Google considers it, as well as what people may consider. So what you can do is you can go to here, I'll leave a link down below in the description, and you can upload your next photo onto this and see what Google then says and thinks about that photo in particular. It will know if it's a stock image, it'll know if it's a duplicated image, it'll know what the information is, it can read all the text, it's incredibly valuable to know what Google considers. And if it gets it wrong, then don't upload it. Get it so that Google also agrees with you as to why you feel that photo is so valuable. What about keywords? Well, naming your photo, use some keywords in the name of the JPEG or the PNG. What about geotagging? Geotagging, as much as it can still be used in other areas on website and SEO, as far as Google's concerned, it's not using the geotagging anymore. So if you don't use geotagging, don't worry about it. If you do, at the moment, it seems to be stripping it out. But earlier in the video, I mentioned the importance of also having reviews to get great traffic. So don't miss this video, because that will show you how you can get even more reviews for your business straight away. I'll see you on that video.